Hey everybody, it's Kenneth again. Welcome back to the Shoegather channel where it's all about effect pedals, exciting music gear, home production and more. All about the beautiful noise and otherworldly soundscapes. Mentioning beautiful noise, that's exactly what it's all about today. If you're here for the first time and you have no idea what shoegaze music is, let me explain it very quickly. It's an alternative rock subgenre that's defined by the use of a huge amount of effect pedals, whether it's guitars, bass, drums, keyboards or vocals. But most people are definitely interested in the beautiful chords and noisy sounds that are coming from the guitars, because guitars are definitely standing in the foreground of the genre. I personally got introduced to the genre after seeing the film Lost in Translation with Scarlett Johansson and Bill Murray, maybe you have seen it as well. There is one soundtrack of a band that is called My Bloody Valentine and the song is called Sometimes. If you are a shoegaze fan, I bet you know the song and I bet you were also influenced by this music. When you're listening to the song Sometimes by My Bloody Valentine very closely, you can hear that there's a huge amount of fuzz, distortion and noise in the guitars, but you can still hear the chords very good. And that's exactly why I fell in love with shoegaze music in the first place. Because on the one hand, sound-wise, it has a lot in common with punk and alternative rock music, but on the other side it's very calm and beautiful, very soft, almost like a lullaby or something like that. But there's one thing that didn't let me sleep for years actually and that's the distortion effect that this music is using. You can say in shoegaze music they're using clean guitars, overdriven guitars, a little more overdrive which is like distortion and a crazy distortion sound which is called fuzz. And I'm totally into fuzz and distortion because something is happening in, in the sounds of distortion and fuzz that you cannot control, that is totally random, I'd say. I call it hair or fur or something like that. Something that is so crispy and noisy in the background that it's, yeah, just beautiful in my ears. I was always asking what pedals are able to create a super harsh and distorted sound while also being so transparent that you can hear the chords especially more complex chords. I'm talking about chords like major 7s and major 9s and extended chords. At some point when you're using fast, there's a huge chance that you can't hear the notes anymore. You can play power chords like two notes, something like that at the same time, but as soon as you add a third or a fourth note, to extend the chord, to make them more complex, it's getting really hard to make those out. So which fuzz and distortion pedals are able to let chords through? Because that's the reason why the genre is defined by the word beautiful noise. And we want to hear the beauty. I tested some effect pedals for you guys and I want to compare them here in this video. We have the Boss Wasacraft Super Overdrive. To start with a simple overdrive so you can hear what's the difference between distortion and fuzz. I chose the Boss Wasacraft Super Overdrive so you get a better sonic picture. I also use a Digitech Hot Rod distortion pedal which is very similar to a fast pedal as well but it's in my ear still a distortion pedal. Super affordable and extremely good when it comes to its sound and super useful for shoegaze music. The next pedal is the DS7 Distortion Factory, also by Digitech, which serves you seven classic rock sounds when it comes to overdrive distortion and fuzz. I will show you a Proco Red Distortion and also the Big Muff setting on it. Then I compare the pedal to the Electro Harmonics Big Muff P next to the cheaper version of the DS7 by Digitech. I also chose the very affordable Behringer Super Fuzz and I want to show you if the characteristics of this super fast sound are similar or even the same to the original super fast by Univox. Then there's the Fulltone Octafuzz, which is a very high quality pedal with a very high quality fuzz sound, super crispy and I was always excited to try it out, so I show it here as well. Then there's a custom pedal built by Attic Sounds here in Germany that I designed myself. It's called the Ultra Blast and it contains the original electronics of the Univox Superfuzz on the left side and on the right side there is a Debbie Ever Sodomizer and a vintage fuzz master pedal. Debbie Ever pedals sound a lot like a big muff, just much more midi and a little bit more crazy and crispy. They are perfect for this shootout. Last but not least, there's the Death by Audio Waveformer Destroyer, a very flexible pedal with four different distortion and fuzz flavors. So have fun 
fun and enjoy. For the demo I'm using a hard plectrum by my favorite record label St. Mary Records. I'm playing a Squire Jaguar modified by Luke Guitars here in Berlin. As you can see it has a built-in sample player, but in my ears it sounds just like an original Fender Jaguar guitar. My amp is a Fender Princeton 112 Plus and I'm recording with a SM58 Shore microphone. <laughs>
a low budget, I would definitely go with the Hot Rod and the DF7 by Digitech, as I think they are very flexible and the sounds are super original and also flexible when it comes to the EQs. And I think all of the sounds are transparent and very well crafted by Digitech. I would recommend it to every shoegazer out there who's starting out on a low budget or also to professional musicians who never heard of them. They are just beautiful. If I had to choose one more expensive fast pedal, I would definitely choose the Fulltone Octafast as it has the most hair and crisp. It is very crazy and simple, but it's still transparent. And if you're listening to the sound example, you can still hear every single note. And this is just amazing for a fast pedal that is so aggressive. Although it's very cheap and a lot of people are talking about it, I would definitely not recommend the Superfast by Behringer. When you're listening to the sound example, you couldn't hear the chords very well. It's absolutely not transparent in my personal opinion, but I think it works very well with lead notes and with riffs, but I wouldn't use it for complex chords as you hear it in the song Sometimes by My Bloody Valentine, for example. The super fast circuit and also the Devi Ever fast sounds in my uh, Ultra Blast custom fast pedal. I love them a lot, but they are definitely not the best choice for chords, I'd say. I would only use them for single notes and for aggressive and noisy tones to give a song more flavor and a unique vibe. The same goes for the Waveformer Destroyer by Death by Audio. In my case, it's a pedal for the studio, for my home productions, and it gives me a lot more flexibility and noisy flavors but for a live situation it would be a little bit too huge and too less flexible when it comes to the knobs which is very cool but I wouldn't recommend it too much for the transparency purposes here that we are talking about. Thanks for watching I hope this video was helpful for you I'm sure you also have a recommendation and I would love to hear what you are using for your shoegaze sound so leave me a comment and tell us what pedals work perfectly with chords in your opinion and if you like this video feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it yet. There's also a little bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell as well so we can keep in touch every time I upload a new video. If you're interested in one of those panels that I just checked, there are some affiliate links in my description below. If you choose to buy one of those panels using those links, you would really support my channel and I can upgrade my quality and my content here. But don't feel forced to, it's just an option. Keep on gazing. I hope I see you next time time again. See you later.